Okay, now to add this customer to the database, first we need to add it to our DB context. So context dot customers dot add customer. Now, when you add this to the context, it's not written to the database. It's just in the memory. Our DB context has a change tracking mechanism. So anytime you add an object to it or modify or remove one of its existing objects, it will mark them as added, modified, or deleted. Now, to persist these changes, we need to call context.savechanges. At this point, our DB context goes through all modified objects and based on the kind of modification, it will generate SQL statements at runtime and then it will run them on the database. All these statements are wrapped in a transaction. So either all changes get persisted together or nothing will get persisted. Now, finally, we need to redirect the user back to the list of customers. So return, let's get rid of this breakpoint with F9 redirect to action, index in customers controller. Next, I will show you how to implement editing a customer.